Hello everyone! Today we're going to make a camera app for iOS using Swift and Xcode. The app will take a picture and it can also access your photo library and then it'll display those images on the screen. So in this video, we'll do a small brush up on Swift and Xcode, although I've made a whole nother video dedicated to introducing Swift and Xcode. Then we'll talk about the camera app we'll make today including what the app will do and all the UI components we'll need to make this fantastic app. Finally, we'll get to the interactive demo, where I'll code the app and you can follow along too. So let's review Swift and Xcode. Swift is a full-fledged programming language that's great for making mobile apps with. It's very easy to learn and many famous iOS apps have been made in Swift. If you're new to Swift, I recommend you check out one of my previous videos, which is a full introduction to Swift and Xcode. Next up is Xcode. It's an iOS development tool made by Apple Inc. itself. It works with Swift programming language, and it has its own UI navigator, and it helps you make your own amazing iOS mobile apps. So now let's see today's app that we're going to be making. Today we're going to make a camera app. So the components we'll need are two UI image views, one for displaying the picture we take in the app and one for the one we choose in the photo library. We'll also need a camera button. This is so that they, the user can click it and then go to the camera navigator. And the other button we'll need is just a regular button that if you click it, then you can choose your own photo from your photo library. And finally, we'll need all the code behind these UI elements, which we'll do in the demo. So here's the layout of the app, or the architecture. So on the right, there's a screen recorded video of how our app will work, and I'll also explain it. So the app will be blank until the user presses the camera button. After they press that, it'll open up this camera viewer navigator where you can take your photo. Then you can resize your photo or crop it and press use photo. If you want, you can also retake it, but I'm just going to press use. And in the end, it'll display your image at the top here. Our app will also be able to access the user's photo library if you click this button down here and show the chosen picture in the other UI image view. All right, let's get on into the demo. So I'm going to go to Xcode. I know you can't see this, but I'll drag it over. So I'm going to say file new and then project. Then I'll show you guys. Here we go. And then I'm just going to keep everything default. The name, let's call it camera live, camera and photo library. And then we'll press next. And then we'll press create. And okay, it created the app for us. So first thing we're going to do is create the UI components. So I'm going to do this and let me drag this over all right so first i want a button so that we can open up open up the camera navigator so let me drag this here button before the photo library let's just do the camera part first and then we'll go into photo library so i'm going to take out this text and xcode has some preset images that you can use so I'm going to say camera, and then they have this. And I'm going to make it large. How about instead we'll do camera.fill? That looks a bit nicer. OK. There we go. And now we're going to make, um, now we're going to use a UI image view. image view. This is so that we can look at the image that we took. So I'm going to make this huge so that we can see it very nicely. Okay. Oh. Alright, now this is not going to look nice, I'm not focusing on that. This is just purely for the functionality. In other videos maybe I can make it look nice, but now it's just for the functionality. So let's go to the view controller and we can start coding it. The first thing we have to do in order to code this is connect these two UI elements to our code. So I'm going to press the option button, I'm going to hold it down and press the view controller. That'll open it up here. And now, I want to first add this camera button into our code. So I'm going to hold control button and then drag it over here into the class. And I'm going to name this 
camera button. First, we're going to add it as an outlet, and then we'll make an action later. So here we go. And then after that, we're going to use the UI image view. So same thing here. And I'll call this camera preview. And then I'll connect it again. And then after the view did load, but still inside the class, we can connect the button as an action so that whenever they click the button, then we can do some action. So this as an action, I'll call this did, or let's say tapped camera button. Okay, connect. And inside of this, we can start writing the code for opening up the camera navigator. So we're going to make a variable. I'll call it picker because that's a name of a function. So let picker equals UI, UI image picker controller. Where is this here? And then since that's a function, we need parentheses. After that, we're going to say picker.source type. Oh, type equals dot camera. This is basically just saying the UI image picker controller, we're going to use the camera aspect. We're going to do this again, but for the photo library later, but now it's just camera. And then after that, we're going to say picker dot picker dot allows editing, allows editing equals true this line will tell the code that once we take our picture it'll let us uh, edit the picture like crop it zoom in zoom out all that and you'll see that later once we run the code and then picker dot delegate dot delegate equals self it's going to give us an error now but then we have to add another line See, there's the error. We have to add another line later and then it'll take away. And then the last thing, we basically just initialized the camera part and now we just want to open it up. So I'm going to say picker, or no, present, and then inside of the parentheses, picker animated equals true because we want it to be animated. Now this will initialize the camera aspect and then open it up. And the next thing we have to do, since we're using the camera navigator in our app, we need to inherit some classes. So after UI view controller, we also need to use UI image picker controller delegate. And also UI navigation controller delegate. Delegate. There we go. And then outside of this tap camera button, we're going to create another function and I'll just paste it in. So we're making a function called image picker controller. And this whole code will basically just say after you take the picture in your app, then it'll open up another page. And in that page, there will be three things. There will be two buttons. One will be retake button where you can retake your photo. And the other button will be use photo. And if the user presses use photo, then it should add the image we took into the UI image view. So that's what this code does. And inside these parentheses, this will just be the code for if the user clicks the use photo button. And if they click that, then we want it to add the photo that we took in the app into the UI image view right here, this one. We've already connected the UI component to our code using this variable. So inside, I'm just going to paste this in. And the variable is called camera preview. So it's saying camera preview dot image. It's going to change the image to this. And this code is basically just the image that we took in the app. All right. So after this camera preview dot image, we're going to say picker dot dismiss. And then animated true completion no. There we go. Animated true. And then completion is nil. And there we go. Now this code is all ready to run, but we need to ask the user for permission to access their camera. Otherwise, it would just throw an error. So in the info.plist, 
this info.plist file, this is basically just all the permissions. So we're going to press this plus sign. You can press it anywhere, but I'm just going to add it at the end. So, and we're going to type privacy, privacy, and then camera usage description. There we go. And you can also add some text to show. So I'm going to say, let us use your photo in all caps. Okay, now it's fully ready to run. So let me open up the, okay, there we go. And let's run this. All right, it says build succeeded. And it's opening it up, okay. So now if we press this camera, then it says let us use your photo. And if we press okay, then it shows us this. Okay, this works. So now, whoa, this is like inception. So now let's take a photo and then we can press use photo and then it adds it to the UI image view. So that's all for the camera part of our app. Now we're gonna go on to the photo library. So the first thing I want to do is add another button and another UI image view for the photo library. So here I'm gonna add another button and let's drag this over here. And let's take out this text, we don't need it. And for the image, let's say photo. Photo, there you go, photo.fill. And let's make it large. There we go. And then we can add another UI image view. And then let's make it really big so that the image is shown. Okay, there we go. All right, now we can add this now we can add these UI components into our code. So again, I'm holding the option key and then clicking on the view controller. And then we are going to add the button as an outlet first. So I'll add it right under here. And let's call this photo library button. And let's connect that. And then same for the UI image view. How about live uh, library? How about photo library preview? Preview. There we go. And then we'll press connect. And then under the tap camera button, we're going to add an action. We're going to connect this again, but as an action. So here we go. And let's call this tap library button. All right, now let's press connect. And now inside of this code, we can basically do the same thing that we did for camera, except instead of opening up the camera navigator, we can open up the photo library. So let's get out of this split screen and go here. Okay, we're gonna write self dot image picker controller dot source type equals dot photo library. library and then on the next line this basically just initialized it and now we can just go straight ahead to presenting it so we'll say self dot present self dot present Self, and then inside of the present self dot image picker controller and then uh, controller and then animated true completion nil true and then completion is nil all right this will initialize the photo library and then it'll open it up all right, so I've done all this, but it's giving us some errors. Let's check. Oh, okay. We have to declare a variable. Let's make it here. And I'm gonna declare it right here. Let's call it image picker controller since we used it down here. Image picker controller, image picker controller. Image picker controller equals UI image picker controller, which is a function. Okay, 
Now it should take away these. Okay, there we go. And since we're using the photo library, let's import photos. We're not going to be using it just yet, but just to be safe. All right, now we can continue coding. That's all for the function tapped library button, but we're going to create another function called check permissions. This will basically just check if we have all the permissions needed in order to get photos from the photo library. So I'm just going to paste in the standard code for checking if you have permission. First, there's a function called check permissions, and if it doesn't have permission to access the photo library, then it'll call this um, function, this other function called request authorization handler, which again checks if it has access. If it does, then it'll say access granted. If it doesn't, it'll say we don't have access right here. So this check permissions, let's copy this because we need to call this function in the view did load. So that would be up here. Let's take out this and we'll call this. Okay, there we go. So down here in the image picker controller, for the camera preview, we're gonna make it an edited image so that you can edit your image after taking it. But as in the case for the photo library, I want it to be just the original image because there, there's no need to edit it. And I also want it so that it'll only show the picture in the photo library preview if we click the photo library button. And how we can do that is in the image picker controller function, we can add an if statement I'll say if picker dot source type equals dot photo library. Oh wait, equals equals dot photo library. Then it should be original image. So let's do that. Then the library. Let's just copy this actually because it's same. So instead of camera preview, we're gonna say library. Uh, what was it called? Li photo library preview. So, photo library preview dot image. Instead of edited image, we're going to say original image this time, though. As UI image. And then else, it should be this camera preview. So, let's copy this in. There we go. And that's basically it for the camera part of the app and also the photo library part of the app. And again, we're going to have to add in the info.plist. Right, I'll add a new one and I'll say privacy. Photo library usage description right here. And then we'll add a text let us use your library and yeah now it's all ready to run so let's run this code okay so i'm gonna press run here and okay it says it's running okay build succeeded and it's opening up the app all right it says camera and photo library would like to access your photos let us use your library so let's just say allow all access. And okay, it has both buttons. Let's test out the camera part first. Again, let's just take this. And then if we press use photo, then it shows up on the image view. We already knew that. And now if we click this, then we can choose our photos. Let's just choose this photo now. And it doesn't show up in the UI image view. Why is that? All right, let's see what happened. All right, let's take a look at this code. So, oh, okay, so in the view did load, we have to assign self to image picker controller delegate. So let's do that. Image picker controller dot delegate equals self. And the reason we need to do that is so that we can utilize the delegate methods of the image picker controller delegate, which are defined up here in these two base classes. And yeah, that's the rest of the code. So we can just rerun this. Let me open up the, okay. So let's rerun this and I'll go here, okay. Okay, it opened up the app 
And now, the camera part, as always, it works. And then let's press use photo. Now the photo library, uh, if we click this, then, okay, it shows up in the UI image view. That worked. Here we're showing images from the photo library and camera separately into two different image views. But most commonly, it's used with only one view. I gave you all the details, and for your app, you can de design it however you want. The GitHub link is in the description, and if you used it, please star the repo. Thanks very much for watching. If you all had any doubts, please comment down below. I would love to help you out if you have any questions or issues from making this app. Please like, subscribe, all that jazz. Until then, you can learn anything.